My name is Mauro Serpelloni and I'm Associate Professor in Electrical and Electronic Measurements with the Department of Information Engineering at the University of Brescia. My scientific activity concerns measuring instruments, sensor and transducer for industrial and biomedical field. Since 2015, I'm in charge of managing aerosol jet printing laboratory of the University of Brescia. In this context, after a comparative analysis of the various technologies started in 2014, we decided to open an aerosol jet printing laboratory. In 2017, we purchased an AJ300 commercialized by Optimec, a leader in this technology. This system is the only one in Italy. The Optimec Aerosol Jet 300 series printing system uses an innovative aerodynamic focusing system to deposit fluid and nanomaterial formulations on two-dimensional and three-dimensional surfaces. This allows to achieve higher performance than traditional inkjet printing or screen printing processes. Let's see in more detail how this technology works. We can see the cup that is used for storage of the ink. Liquid inks viscosities between 0.5 and 1000 centipoints are typically employed. The aerosol jet printing is a four-step process. Atomization of the ink, densification of the generated aerosol, focusing of the aerosol jet, deposition of the droplets into a substrate. First, an aerosol is obtained from an ink or dispersion by a pneumatic atomizer, which develops a dilute flow. Nitrogen or compressed dry air are employed as carrier gas. The only requirement is on the dynamic viscosity of the ink from about 1 to 1000 centipoints, which is more or less between water and honey. In a virtual impactor, superfluous carrier gas is removed and the droplet size distribution is adjusted in order to densify the aerosol, increasing the volume fraction of the aerosol droplet flow. The droplet size exiting the printing nozzle of a typical setup is smaller than 5 micrometer in diameter. Finally, the aerosol is focused in the print head. In this head, the aerosol flow is injected into a transition region where the shell gas enwraps cylindrically the aerosol flow. These two elements are strongly accelerated when entering the print nozzle, which is a narrow channel with slowly decreasing cross section. In a proper design system, the gas flow is laminar and axially symmetric with a small Stokes number for the particles in the transition region becoming large at the exit of the print nozzle. The shelf gas prevents impacting of the droplets or condensation of the solvents from the aerosol at the inner wall of the nozzle and guides the aerosol flow. This technology offers many advantages with respect to screen printing or inject. First, this technique permits printing droplets with diameter sizes from 1 to 5 micrometer which offers a uniform printing dispersion. Second, the substrate, which can be heated to evaporate the solvents, is usually placed about 2 to 5 mm below the nozzle exit with the surface perpendicular to the jet. This feature allows printing over surface irregularities, contours or corners. Furthermore, this technology permits to print materials with conductive material loading up to 80 weight percent. This is a key advantage over other electronic printing technologies since it offers higher conductivity in one pass. The aerosol jet system supports a wide variety of materials, including nanoparticle inks and screen printing plastics, conductive polymers, insulators, adhesives and even biological materials, like cells. Our system, an AJ300, has interesting printing features. Line width from 10 micrometers to 100 of micrometer per pass. Single pass layer thickness from 100 nanometer to 10 micrometer. 
ability to print on substrates up to 300 millimeters per 300 millimeters x y motion proportional accuracy down to plus minus six uh, micrometers 300 millimeters x y automated control and 50 millimeters z axis automated control motion repeatability plus minus one micrometer for each axis virtual alignment system alignment cameras and lightning enable registration of line over line with multiple passes computer control system of printing parameters in autocad format plate vacuum and edit The University of Brescia has among its objectives research activities, technology transfer and services in sectors characterized by small series with high technology and customization. This activity has already garnered the interest of several companies in different industrial fields from automotive to aerospace. The university is open to projects with companies, laboratories, research centers, other Italian and foreign universities. You are all invited to visit our laboratories to see yourself the possibilities offered by this technology. Thank you all and see you soon.